I got to tell you, we made a lot of moves today. Welcome back, everyone. And I am pumped to see where we go from here. The market's kind of giving us a little bit of hope, a glimmer, a little ray of sunshine. And we're going to discuss that. Is it time for the market to explode? Is it over? Is the recent little sell-off done? And we can now move on. Well, I'm going to answer that. I made some moves. Hopefully, it's going to. Ah, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Uh, if you have not done it, I really went crazy in the Discord today. And you can join us right here by clicking this first link. Join right here for a little over a dollar a day. You can join the monthly premium stock Mo Discord today. Share some positivity. I love seeing the wins. I can't even barely read that. So let's pull that up. $20,000 up in a day. Oh, somebody went all in on something. Wowzers, you have Spy, TMF, and one other. So somebody did well. Somebody did well. Thanks again, Mo and company. People out there making what they do, 122% up. Uh, yeah, look at that Spy. We got some winners. We got some winners. I love seeing it. Quick in, quick out for the dub. You guys know it. 147%. What's this one? I always like reading these. NVIDIA, there you go, 55% up. The family was feeding lots today. Lots of people feeding. Thanks for the classes. We do have my uh, learning library, which I, people call the class there, but it's a learning library, tons of lessons, tons of things in here. And I do post my receipts, unlike some people out there who like to tell you how good they're doing, but they never post the receipts. So join us today. Get access. We got a whole bunch of new releases I just did. Tons of them, actually. So I'm pretty pumped to see how they go tomorrow. The overall idea is to hopefully make a nice profit. And it shouldn't take too long if the trends continue. All right, what are we looking at today? We're gonna break into a lot of different things. Here's the inflation, CPI came out. And of course we had the, the what do we have? What do you wanna call that? A debate last night. Uh, put it all together and you had the markets kind of moving. And I think the markets were more excited about that's right, the CPI. Uh, it's always been about the CPI. The consumer price index rose 2.5% in August on an annual basis. You can see this was a monster, monster drop. And people, I don't think they're talking enough about it. Uh, some of the things are more expensive, but overall inflationary pressures are dissipating, said Sarah House, senior economist at Wells Fargo. So a lot of things happening. And here's the deal. And you might say, well, no, prices are so high. You're not, it's not about where the prices are. It's about how high they're rising from one year ago, not from four years ago. We already know they're out of control from there, but they're not out of control. They only rose on average altogether, 2.5% year over year. And when it's this low, even though you're panicking and you think the Fed's panicking, they're not, they're not. They're not worried about this like they are worried about the unemployment level's going out of control. And thus, why I think we're all keying in on the wrong thing. We're looking at this when we should be looking at anything dealing with employment. It rose 2.5% in August from a year ago, and that's what they did. And here you go. The figure is down 2.9% in July, the lowest reading since 2021 February. Folks, it's been over three years since we got down to this level. We're back, we're getting there, and it's slowly continuing. All items, food, food at home is absolutely uh, down to 0.9% year over year. It's when you go out and everything else averaged in and everything. Uh, energy dropped 4%. I talked about that in some of my, my, my things I've been doing. And of course, if you look at how much oil is a barrel right now, 60 to 70s right now for WTI and some other ones. So just, Keep an eye on that because that should, the cost of energy continues to drop. When you see that energy dropping, if this continues to stay low, those savings in energy costs for companies, factories, businesses, shipping, all of it should pass on to the consumer over time. But if they bounce right back up, well, then we have a trouble. We have some trouble. All right. So that's the first thing I was looking at. Then I thought, how about the fear gauge? How's the fear gauge? And remember what I tell you about this. It got down there in the 30s. Today, it was in the 30s. And I told you, anytime you see this in fear, what do you change the word of? Change fear to buy. Change extreme. What's fear? Buy. Extreme buy. Buy. Hold. Greed means sell. Sell. 
extreme sell. So in other words, you, it doesn't mean, oh, we hit 51, sell everything. It means be on the lookout for locking up gains, buy puts for insurance. Oh, really watch it at this point. So I feel okay buying in here. Sometimes we'll get to this point and that's where it's like I'm frothing because that means you're getting deals that we haven't seen in a long time. And when one month ago, we were down at 23. And now you can see we're all the way back at 43 and everything else. No guarantees it's going to absolutely make tons of money for us. But put it all together. There you go. And I think, what do we got? PPI tomorrow? Producer price index? So keep an eye on that. And we'll see where it's going. But overall, what are the markets doing? Are they giving us the opportunity that we want? And I'm going to show you the technical analysis on the SPY that I was watching. And, and for those who are wondering, I may have been bearish before today. But we made some moves and they look pretty good by the end of the day. For those who swing trade and get out by the end of the day, call it a day trade, uh, uh, they did well uh, overall. You'd be up. And so you can see NVIDIA rallying. Look at NVIDIA doing what NVIDIA does. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. I made that a play and I did a little position kind of thing in my white collar options. If you'd want to join there, that is the royalty tier. But man, I like the gain. Now, I figure we're going to have a little bit of a pullback tomorrow. Anytime you see it jump 8% in a day, you might see a 1% to 2% pullback the next day just because. If you don't, well, that's good news. SoFi is another one I'm liking right now. Tesla, of course, you guys know I'm liking that as well. And TMF, think about this. Think about TMF. Let's talk about this real quick. TMF. Uh, TMF doing what TMF does. All right, we always make that joke. The TMF just, you know, keeps rallying. You can say, oh, over the month. Well, we're topping out up here at a level that makes me nervous. And you might say, well, you're up at 12%, Mo. You're beating the market by about 10, 9 to 10% overall. You're right. You're right. But let's take a look at something. Uh, we had N NVIDIA here. This is the chart. Well, I'll, I'll cover this first, then go to TMF. So this is the daily chart, and I like this. And I, I told the people in my Discord that we're at, an in, we're at a point. And I always call it an inflection point. Not really, but what I mean by that is we're at the 50 EMA. We had a pullback, and I did this from here to here. The pullback hit 61.8, 61.8, 61.8, 61.8. Again, five days in a row. It built up that it was either going to crash down or it was time to run. If it runs back up, I expect minimum, minimum to hit right around 128, 127. And, and it's going to hit this, this resistance. Could go up and retest this high. I don't know. But you can see I have this coming down. That is what I am seeing for NVIDIA. I like the calls on this. For a couple of weeks out, you know, I always do roughly three to four weeks out. Anybody that did a day one in my Discord made bank. Uh, and remember, that was in the white collar options. If you did the four, three, four weeks out like I do, you're still up nicely. And that's good. That's good. And of course, uh, you never know where these are going to go. I just want to look it up. I don't know what you're saying here. 47. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're up 20%. So you made a quick 20% today. So that's good. So, all right. Now I expect this to bounce off of here. So maybe a little bit of a drop the next day, maybe the next, but maybe it should bounce up. We should, if we get a nice confirmation candle tomorrow, man, I'll feel great. Uh, we'd get up to about 120 at that point. They said some good things. They had meetings and the CEO and everything. So good things are being said about NVIDIA. I like what we're looking at as well. At this point, that has reversed up to the 50. If we can confirm, we should get it up there. So I like it. Just letting you know, I am now bullish on NVIDIA. So we call it on the way down. Now we're calling it on the way back up. Remember, this is not a channel. If you're here to watch, it's ever, hey, we're bullish all the time. It's not the way it's going to be. I'm just going to tell you that right up front. We have a lot of different moves. I'm going to be, I reverse some of the moves. We go, you know, it happens because whatever the charts are giving us, we're going to take advantage of. And of course, I, my long-term things, TMF, that doesn't change. You guys know that. The TMF, I got that. Somebody asked me today, do we take profits? Listen, you're at a double top right now. You see this? Down it went. 
bounced off the 13, up we go. And now we're going sideways. Your first warning shot was right here. We got above, push back down, got PPI tomorrow. And we're gonna see how this goes. I can't guarantee it's gonna be good and it's gonna run. It might even come back below this line. It would make me nervous to close below 62.42. The real line though is 61.95, close below there. We're back in this zone. And that, and that might be where you take insurance. Maybe you buy some short-term puts in case we come down and touch the 50 again. You just take, you take precautions. And that's what I've been telling people. If you got a huge run, you got a huge run up. I know a lot of you have. Just a couple weeks ago, we were all the way down in the 40s. Now we're in the 60s. Folks, if you made 20 to 30 to 40 percent on my my plays, don't be afraid to lock them in. All right. We are up there high on the RSI at 67. That could come back down to 50 and then have the next leg up. It's always up, down, up, down, up. And that's it. It just the goal. We're above the 50 now in the daily, so we're in a we're officially bullish. So I like it. All right, family. If you haven't done it, I got some a whole bunch of plays I released today. I got more. I'm doing tomorrow. I'm pumped. It's good stuff. Uh, first link, like I said, right here. Click it. Come on over. Join today. Well, that's over here at that. You don't need to see. That's just the um, the Fed rate right now. They're they're expecting 85% of a 25 basis point cut. So I like that. Got a little bit of a chance for 50, but we'll see. But click that first link and get that monthly premium. That's where it's at. You can take any of the other ones too, if you so desire. Click through the videos to watch. Hit this down here for more. Check it all out. Get access today so you don't miss out. Thousands of members, and we got more moves coming. Uh, second link down below though, very important for some free money. That's Moo Moo. You gotta use this link. If you don't use it, you, don't, you, you, you get 15. You don't get 30. But if you use my link, you will get 10 for deposit and 100, not five. You'll get, for 1,000, you get all 30 stocks. You don't just get 20, you get all 30, you get an additional 20 here. 8.1% uh, APY on all your cash sitting in there for three months for new users. 8.1% risk-free, like this is incredible. Like Warren Buffett says, I'm not gonna let free money go. It takes five minutes, guys, sign up, take advantage of it. Think about your money sitting in a bank. Oh, I'm getting 0.1%, if that, if you just got it in a checking, you're probably not getting anything. You can get put it in here, 8.1% APY, take advantage. All right, family, that is the update. I'll see you over at the Discord.